Molecular grade plasmid isolations are generally faster, more cost effective, and are best suited for the applications listed here. Transfection grade plasmid DNA may be used for all applications, from in vitro transcription to transformation. This video will demonstrate the preparation of molecular grade plasmid DNA. First, resuspend your pelleted bacterial cells in 250 microliters of resuspension solution. Vortex or pipette to mix thoroughly. Next, add 250 microliters of lysis solution and mix thoroughly by inverting four to six times. The solution will become viscous. The sample can be incubated for up to five minutes at room temperature. Now add 350 microliters of neutralization solution. Mix immediately and thoroughly by inverting the tubes four to six times. The neutralized bacterial lysate will become cloudy. Centrifuge for five minutes. The cell debris and chromosomal DNA will form a pellet. Transfer the supernatant, which contains your plasmid DNA, to the gene jet spin column by decanting or pipetting. Centrifuge for one minute. Discard the flow through and place the column back into the same collection tube. Add 500 microliters of wash solution to the gene jet spin column. Centrifuge for 30 to 60 seconds and discard the flow through. Place the column back into the same collection tube. Repeat the wash procedure using another 500 microliters of wash solution. Remove any residual wash solution by discarding the flow through and centrifuging the empty column for an additional minute. To elute your isolated plasmid DNA, transfer the spin column into a clean microcentrifuge tube and add 50 microliters of elution buffer to the center of the spin column membrane. Leave for two minutes at room temperature, then centrifuge for two minutes and discard the column. Your molecular grade plasmid DNA is in the microcentrifuge tube, ready to be used or stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius.